Natural remedies the body is a wondrous machine and is designed to take massive abuse before it fails. Unfortunately, it doesn't always give clear signs of abuse until it's too late. So many people believe heart disease, arthritis, diabetes, and obesity are just part of the natural aging process. However, it's our lack of exercise and terrible diet, which accelerates our aging and causes us to fall ill before our time. Despite progress we always have those among us who believe the old-fashioned ways or products are better. It has to be said that in some instances they are correct. Sadly, with each passing generation, some of this old-fashioned wisdom disappears. Progress is so contemporary and so closely a part of our daily lives that we sometimes fail to recognize that we, ourselves, may fail to keep up with what is happening. Things that we would have considered very modern because we witnessed their creation only a few years ago may already be old-fashioned to high school students. In the medical world, treatment that might have been popular for a disease in 1986 may be completely outmoded in 2006. Even medical discoveries of the 1990s may be old-fashioned today. However, over the years, and for generation after generation, a great number of home remedies for many illnesses have managed to stay alive. They have been passed down from elders to youngsters in each country throughout the world. Many of them are strikingly similar although they may have originated on separate continents among completely alien peoples. This area of medicine is commonly called folk medicine. Few people will have failed to have come into contact with this term at one time or another. Usually folk medicines are the old-fashioned remedies, the cure that grandma used, the wisdom of the oldster who remembers when my old friend Betty would have died if they hadn't used that old remedy. Yes sir, even the doctor had to admit it worked. Periodically there seems to be a revival in folk medicine. We appear to be now experiencing such a time as more people are becoming concerned, not only about the high cost of medicine, but also the increasing discoveries of side effects. Nature has given us many natural remedies, with little or no side effects. Basically most folk medicine is closely associated with herbs, food, oils, minerals and components found in any household. Techniques and methodology of folk medicine are especially adaptable to home use. It is not difficult to understand how many of these medicines and treatments originated and why they were popular. Among pioneers and peoples where doctors were few and far between, or non-existent, medical aids were the products of experience and necessity. People used what they had at hand. Sometimes what they had at hand are still used by our most modern medical experts. Many people accept herbal medications as safe because they are natural, but this is not necessarily so. Many plants are poisonous, or may have serious side effects or give allergic reactions when taken by susceptible individuals. One such case is bee pollen. Just as you can be allergic to bee stings without knowing it, if you've never been stung, so an allergy to bee pollen may also be present. While many herbal concoctions can be useful, we suggest finding a homeopathic doctor that balances the need for medication with a change in lifestyle and diet as a part of your overall game plan to get back on the road to better health.